Well, hello, folks. Welcome to the second go, the second run at this. This is the live rip. Today we're going to be doing, well, first my mail day. I thought that'd be cool to talk about my mail day, show you what I got in. I get a lot of mail days. Anybody that knows me from my online uh, sources knows that I get a lot of stuff and lots of it. So start off with that real quick. We'll run through it. Then we got Hoops Premium. Everything's a retail rip today. Got some Hoops Premium in. Got uh, a black, uh, cello of uh, Prism. You know, we'll talk about what's going on in those products and those product lines right now. The difference that you find today from what you found in the past. And uh, I also got a little surprise that I found, believe it or not, in a vending machine in a supermarket. Packs of football cards. So here we go. Starting off first, again, mail day, Abraham Toro. This is the Sapphire edition, Blue Sapphire. Uh, he's an up-and-comer. You know, a lot of people aren't big fans of the Houston Astros. Uh, well, because they're cheaters. But he's going to be a decent player for them, you know. I'm actually looking forward to him picking it up because my boy Springer's gone now. We'll see how he does there. Him and uh, Alvarez are going to be a good tandem, I think. Next up, this is a very special card. When I saw this, I couldn't pass it up. I was very happy to get this in my collection now. This is a 2007 Turkey Red Albert Pujols Silk card. Now, you see this little window right here? You can actually feel the silk card on the inside. These are actually very rare. You don't see these a lot. This is actually number 299. Very good looking card. 42 and 99. This is cool. This is a 1967 going vintage here on the Houston Astros. Joe Morgan. You might have seen him uh, in the past on a lot of their shows on ESPN, a lot of the baseball programs. He's been a commentator in the past, but he was actually a very good baseball player at one time. Also got this guy who I'm having big hopes for in the future. This is Mr. Davis, Corey Davis, playing for the Tennessee Titans. Don't know how long. A lot of people are talking about him probably moving on. But a uh, simple little autograph, but this is a nice silver prism, as they call it. Very nice card. Lots of stuff in today. Uh, everybody's trying to get this guy right here. This is a Jordan Love Mosaic Pink Refractor. I actually call it a reactive prism uh, when you're dealing with Panini. Another very nice card. And this guy's an up-and-comer. I suggest to everybody, if you're in the industry for a while, you're just starting out, I suggest you start picking up this guy. He is blowing up the G League right now, Malachi Flynn. All right? He is scoring, I believe... 48 averaging 48 fantasy points a game again i think i talked about it on my last video if you want to think about who you should be picking up who are the guys that you can make money off in the future stash whatever uh check your fantasies look at fantasy squads and how those are panning out and the average points they score that's a good way to uh start building your knowledge base on the players you should be looking out for and then just to round that out right there for the non-graded stuff, I've got a couple Zions in. I think I'm up to about 127 Zions now, 130-something Zions. Excuse me, John Moran Zions. Same gay, same difference. Uh, no, I think I got just under 100 Zions and about 127, 130 Jaws. So hopefully they'll bring me a pretty penny in the future, right? And then got this graded card, and then we'll move on uh, to the retail and rip some cards this Andrew Bendentini, he was just traded, so he's going to be playing for the Royals now. Um, man, the the Red Sox have really just dismantled that championships squad they could have had. Uh, you know, that's gone now too. But this is a very beautiful card. This is called an X Fractor. They've been around for a long time. Um, just a step up from the normal silver prism, silver refractors you would get the X-Fractor. They also have, in tops, a Prism card, spelled P-R-I-S-M instead of with a Z. 
but this is a very nice card I'll be holding on to to see how he does over there with the Royals. All right, moving on to the packs. I think we're going to start out directly with the cello pack of Prism. Prism Football. Uh, you get two packs. It used to get three packs in these. Now this year, they've dropped it down to two with a lot of different things happening in the product lines. We're finding a lot less hits in these. They're much more expensive, as we all know. But actually, you know what? One pack with 12 cards, and then you get an additional pack with, I believe, three others in it. So we'll start out with this pack first. See what we get going. Now, I got all of these packs online, so you can actually tell by the glues in there if they've been resealed that's always an issue when you're buying from something on ebay online you want to check the glue areas uh to see if you've actually gotten a repacked pack but this one looks pretty good to me quite frankly the way that it opened so here we go first pack ben roethlisberger big ben just signed a one-year contract i believe yesterday Nikhil harry jj watt we all know is now a cardinal Derrick Henry, probably the best running back in the league. Sterling Shepard. Champ Bailey, really good stud. You got Again, you always got to give it up for your legends. This guy's a Hall of Famer. Then we got a Harrison Smith. A Greg Zerline. Teddy Bridgewater. And our green refractor is, yo, we'll take that, bud. Yeah, we'll take a Patty Mahomes. Every day of the week. Green prism. Beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. So you should get another rookie in these. See, before you had a chance at multiple rookies in this in years past. Multiple colored prisms. Here you just get what you get. You're lucky. Well, this is actually a pretty good pack, quite frankly, compared to some of the others I see. It. And a kid report. So, one legend. Two rookies, Jerry Judy. I just got a nice Jerry Judy in the mail yesterday, too. And then the highlight, again, of the prison pack is Patrick Mahomes. So I'm actually going to sleeve him up. You should always sleeve your cards up. Sleeve them when you got them. Plastic's running thin, too, guys. If you get your hands on some plastic, buy it all. Buy it all because they're going to start limiting you on your plastic as well. It's insane. Twilight Zone level stuff, guys. Just make sure... You take care of yourself in this industry because nobody else is going to. Unless you got friends like mine, I guess. My homeboys. So, moving on. This is the secondary pack, the bonus pack, as they say, in the prism. We'll see what we got here in this one. I mean, again, that Patrick Mahomes green prism is a pretty sweet card. I, I'm not I'm not mad at getting that card as, uh, you know, the hit in that. So we're looking at a Demarcus Lawrence, red, white, and blue, a Chris Carson, and our rookie is Colin Johnson again. I, I think I'm having a personal record. Hey, Andy, what's happening, bud? Uh, your brother, too. Hey, guys, I just realized I can see what you guys are typing. How rad is that? So I think I got like seven of these in retail. Once you've been doing this for a period of time, you'll realize there's a lot of guys that hit the same guys, keep popping up over and over again. This year, this guy. He's a, he can actually be a pretty good prospect. He's playing for the Jaguars. So we'll see how that turns out. So these are our hits for Prism so far. I'm going to move them to the side, and we're going to get going with the rip of the basketball. Hoops Premium, or as Andy likes to say, stuff only for children. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. First pack, Cello. Uh, again, these used to have three packs in them. This is the first year where they've knocked it down. Uh, again, I think this is the same, because it's Panini, they're just going to run the same type of format in all of their product lines now. So yeah, again, so this is just one pack. And, you know, one pack with 12 cards and your bonus pack. But, you know, it used to be 
three packs with four cards, so I think we can all do the math there. Uh, they're probably just saving money on their own plastic. Because, again, you see some plastic, guys, your top loaders, uh, you know, your penny sleeves. Grab all that. It, it, it's going to disappear, I'm telling you. I mean, it's already disappearing in a lot of places. So here we go. Looking at a P.J. Tucker. He There's a lot of chatter about this guy right now. He's going to get traded somewhere. People want him. Lori Markinen fell off his faith of the earth. Again, another one. Michael Porter Jr., a stud, one of those guys. Uh, you know, like Ben Simmons won Rookie of the Year, but wasn't in his rookie year. He won in his sophomore year. He just didn't get on the court during his freshman year in the NBA, and they still gave him Rookie of the Year. Explain that one to me. Andrew Wiggins. Bogdan Bogdanovich. Beat that. Mitchell Robinson. Contavious Caldwell-Pope. I like that guy, dude, dude. KCP's pretty good. They've been slacking on him. Hey, I'll take a pass. Shaw just got two or three of his rookie autographs in this week, so I'll definitely take him. Then we're looking at DeAndre Hunter, rookie. Come on, let's see some more rookie color. Hey, there we go, man. His stuff is hot right now. If you can get your hands on some Vince Carter, make sure you do. And a green Gordon Hayward on the Celtics. To round out that pack. I've been getting these retail packs uh, from the same vendor online. And I've hit four Jaws and three Zions uh, in three different orders so far going through Hoops Premium. So these are pretty nice cards. I like these. They're nice. You know, you can't beat this Chromium technology, man. It's real nice. But I'm happy with that uh, Vince Carter. I'm, I'm, I'm buying as many Chris Carter or Vince Carters rather that I could possibly get my hands on. All right. Bonus pack time. You guys don't actually have to see me open. Hey, Charles Barkley right there. I'll take that. He's selling like hotcakes too. Come on, let's see a rook. Valentine. Van Fleet, who's a stud now. This guy helps your fantasy teams. If you can pick him up, he's cheap on fantasy teams. And then a Charles Barkley tribute. That's a pretty card. These lasers are nice. Laser's been around for about, uh, I want to say four years maybe. These lasers like this came out. Prism was the first time I think I saw them. Prism football. Nice cards. All right, moving on. We got another cello pack to go in the premium. Then I also have the hanger box. You know, it's going to have different inserts in these, but we're going to continue on with the cello. And then I got something special. I said it earlier in this, but I was at the grocery store, and here we got a place called King Cullen in Long Island and in the city where they have vending machines stocked with packs of cards. Now, you might think, well, shit, that's going to fall through the vending machine, you know, and mess up the cards. But they actually put <laughs> buffers throughout it. So when it's falling, it hits the buffers. I mean, obviously, you might get some card damage. But I've done pretty good there. I pulled an A-Rod rookie card out of SP out of a dollar pack in this vending machine and uh, sold it for $125. So the vending machines are no joke. So I got a couple, I actually got three packs of two, uh, 1997 Topps football cards. That came with Mystery Finest in it, came with Finest Refractors in it. And uh, if you're paying attention to anything online right now and the trends, everybody's buying those inserts right now. Everybody wants them. So here we go. Looking at a Dion Waiters, uh, Reggie Jackson. Karis Levert, who I think is a stud. Dude's good. Obviously, this guy's really good at basketball, too. Donovan Mitchell. We're going to have Terrence Ross and my Orlando Magic. We're going to have Derek Jones Jr. Jordan McLaughlin. That's actually another rookie. See, so this guy, I think I have bought a total of 10 packs of this so far. 10 retail boxes packs have seven rookies of his again this is a guy you're going to see over and over again in the retail stuff there's also uh 
you can see the the trends. You can see that there's some sort of pattern in the boxes in the packs that you pull. Last year for Prism, if you pulled the Matisse Thibault, a Zion was coming in Prism. This year in Optic, I believe if you pull a JJ Watt, the very next card is a TJ Watt. So this used to be different. That didn't used to happen. Their quality control used to be over the top, especially with Tops when they're coming out with the Bowman products, even Fleer. Nowadays with Panini again, uh, they slack him, bro. Romeo Langford rookie. Alan Samalek rookie. I got a bunch of his autographs too. Give me, nope. Buddy Healed hit a big game. Rookie us up. Nope. Malik Bridges doing real, real well. And finish it off with a Brandon Clark. But Bridges, Booker, uh, Aiton. I think they have the second best, uh, you know, win-loss record in the entire league. Nobody thought the Phoenix Suns were going to be that good. I mean, I did after watching what they did in the bubble. They kicked everybody's ass in the bubble in those 10 games. Did everybody remember that? That was nuts. So that's going to finish up the cellos. We now, oh, before I forget, dumb dumb. We also got our bonus pack, NBA Hoops Premium Stock. Let's see what we got. All right. First up, looking at Jarrett Allen, Jimmy Butler, and can another KCP man. Not rookies, not hitting rookies on this. Again, I, I bought quite a few from this vendor, and he hasn't done me wrong. I've pulled a lot of jaws. I made all my money back in, then some from this guy. But these haven't been the best hitters. But this guy, this guy's still real pretty right here. We will take that all day beautiful all right moving on we're now gonna do the premium stock uh hanger box which i've had much better luck with my hangers i think about 50 percent, 60 percent of my jaws uh and zions have been coming out of hanger boxes a lot of people will tell you their favorite their favorite retail product is the hanger box for getting hits getting nice pulls so if you're going to spend your money, because we're all spending a lot of money right now, and you're going to buy some retail, I suggest going for hanger boxes. All right, here we go. Nice little stack. Chromium technology here. We're looking at Dwight Powell. Kevin Horter. Kevin Durant. KD, I'll take a KD no matter what. Kemba. Yukon. Love you, bud. You got to play better basketball, though. Then we got us uh, an Aaron Gordon from my Magic, Troy Brown Jr., Derek White, Dennis Schroeder, who balling out of control for a little while. I don't know what happened to him. Another Eric Paschal rookie card. That's two Eric's. A Malik Monk. Dylan Windler, another guy who got injured. And should come back this year much better. I think he's good. His cards are actually out, going up in value right now. He's another guy you might want to look to target. And this is actually, this is the variation version. If you're opening these, you see this black background right here. If they have a solid background like that, instead of the fans in the background, that's the variation version. I think that they fall one in every four packs or something like that. But just a good thing to know. Dwayne Wade and... Malcolm Brogdon's bum ass. Come on, give us a rookie. Thaddeus Young, another bum ass. All right. Moving on to Evan Fournier. Hassan Whiteside. Dylan Brooks. Gorgie Dieng. And last but not least, DeAndre Ayton. Silver Lights Camera Action. So basketball, not really hitting heavy hitters for us at all. It's a little upsetting. Uh, but better luck next time, right? We're not going to have good hits every single time. That's part of the game. Just keep it going. And we're going to now go to this little bonus stuff I found. That was actually kind of cool, man, to find something like this. These are the 1997 tops. I'm sure we all picked these up when we were a kid. Uh, I was 13 when this came out 13 14 years old so let's take a look and see what we get i'm hoping for of course right on the pack itself barry sanders but damn marinos man give me some marinos i'll love it 
the rookies from that year, I'm not exactly sure. I think, um, man, who was 1997? I can't even really think because I think 98, 98 was uh, Moss and Manning. Oh, this might be, huh, who knows? Let's just check it out. So first up, we are looking at McClintock. Next up, draft picks. David LaFleur. There you go. He was a rookie that year. Remember that guy? <laughs> These are kind of in bars. They almost look a little layered there to make the player jump out. Larry Centers, dude. He, Larry Centers was a good running back that nobody remembers. I'm telling you. He led the league in a lot of things. Then we're looking at a Leroy Butler. That guy was good. Real good. I think he was the guy out the opposite of Woodson. They were a really good tandem. Jamal Anderson. James Jett. Oh, do we have ourselves an insert here? Nope. Michael Jackson. Man, when did he start playing football? <laughs> that was a bad joke. Chris Hudson. Jimmy Smith, really good Jacksonville Jaguar. I like that guy. Let's see what else we got here. All right, Alfred Williams, Javon Langford to finish out that first pack. So nothing special there. There actually are draft picks in it, so that's good to see. Again, we're looking for specifically the Mystery Finest cards. We're looking for the Finest Refractors. Those can net you, if they're graded, uh, a really good refractor can net you you know, four figures. That's a $1,000 card for a top uh, player, especially like Barry Sanders, something like that. It's also the high-octane inserts that people were, uh, and even in the back in the day, people were sought after. Uh, high-octane, but we'll see if we pick one up here. There's also underclassmen and season's best in these. So moving on, next pack. We are looking at Mark Chimura. Man, these are all blasts from the past, man. Michael Bankston. I don't know how many of you were watching football in 1997, but lots of good stuff happening then. Jesse Armistead. Tom Carter. These are old, so they're a little stuck together, quite frankly. But Tom Carter. Curtis Conway. Oh, man, that dude had wheels. Man, when was the last time the Bears were good? <laughs> Eddie Robinson, the Jaguars. So I think this is only the second year the Jaguars were in the league, actually. And they had a supplemental draft for them then. First pick in the draft, obviously, was Tony Baselli, uh, Hall of Famer. But then they got to pick from other teams' players. It was weird. But uh, Byron Morris. We're looking at Ray Mickens. He was good at football, too. This is a really good DB. Eric Turner. And last card in this pack, if I can get it. Dan Wilkinson, who did, I believe, play for the Dolphins after the Bengals. All righty. Next up is going to be our last pack, actually. Uh, can look forward to, I do have coming in some blasters, and they are nice. I've got Prism Blasters football coming in. 2020 i got 2020 optic blasters coming in uh probably those are all retail obviously uh then i'm probably gonna stop at seymour's at the hobby shop and pick up a nice hobby box to do for the next break guys so i appreciate anybody that was on anybody that came in thank you very much please come back and see it again because i'm not gonna stop i'm gonna keep going uh it'll get better here and there i put some orders in for backdrops and stuff like that maybe uh my buddy andy larson would like to hook me up with a logo that would be pretty sweet we could talk about that but that's something for the future uh here is the checklist for 1997 tops lots of names there just a few hall of famers i don't think this is a very big class quite frankly for hall of famers jeff george in his atlanta uniform but raiders card traded to the raiders we got a Bert emmanuel and he's stuck to whoever is behind him come on buddy come on buddy he's a bum 
Santana Dotson, never mind, not a bum. Excuse me. That was a nasty line because you got to understand, too, they had Reggie White there still. That was a nasty Green Bay team, guys. Chris Dolman, another good defensive lineman. This is still one defensive line. Hey, I'm not going to hate on the defensive linemen today, but these were nasty human beings, guys. They were all mean. All of them were mean. They didn't all play video games, you know what I'm saying? They were just in the dirt, knuckles deep, badasses. All of them, trench workers. So, Seth Joyner, Sean Jefferson, Armani Toomer. What a blast from the past there. It doesn't look like we're going to hit any inserts, unfortunately, in these packs. And also not any very good vets. Troy Vincent is our last card for the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, again, not the best uh, rip I've ever had. Not the best set of purchases. I'm going to go through this and sort them again. But it's looking like this was the hit of our tiny little break, guys. And again, I appreciate you being here with me. Please come back. Check it out again. I'll probably be up in a couple more days with the next video. All right. See you later.